In this video, I'm going to show you my favorite passing concept right now out of the trips tight end. This concept will beat every defense in the game. It really doesn't matter what they do on defense. This is a great concept for passing. And if you're wanting something that can really just kind of get you a, it's like my favorite third down play. Uh, it's a play that you can go to that you're going to basically guarantee that you're going to get positive yardage. So if you're new to the channel, I want to ask you to hit the subscribe button. Also, if you're new to the channel or if you just haven't heard about our Patreon membership yet, I want to encourage you to consider joining that. Um, it's only $10 a month and it allows you to get all of my ebooks. My Trips Tide In ebook is in there. My Gun Bunch ebook is in there. So you can get access to all of my material. Um, I've got a ton. I've got 20 offensive and defensive ebooks in there. So if you're struggling on defense, we've got some stuff that will help you. If you're struggling on offense, we have a lot of stuff that will help you as well. So if you want to join that, like I said, it's only $10 a month. I've got new ebooks coming out uh, this week. Probably got a new, I got a brand new video dropping today that is going to be a really great defensive update for the Nickel Normal. So a lot of cool stuff coming out in our Patreon membership if you want to be a part of that. So if you want to join that, the link's in the description below. Okay, guys, let's take a look at this PA slot corner play. This is out of the trips tight end, and this is right now my favorite play. It's a stock audible too, um, so I'm just going to come out in kind of my base offense, but I want to talk about uh, PA slot corner. And you can see here, I'm just going to run it against random plays um, because it literally beats every coverage in the game. So if I audible to the R1, you're going to see that this is PA slot corner. Now what we're going to do with this is we're going to wheel our running back. We're going to smart route our triangle receiver if we're at a 10 yard depth. If not, we can just leave him on the route that he's on. We're going to drag the inside slot or the number three receiver. We're going to put the outside receiver on an out route. And then you can either leave <coughs> Robert Tunyon on his corner route or you can put him on a streak. Most of the time, I'm going to put him on a streak. And then we're just going to motion the running back to the left. And you're going to see that this is truly one of the one of the best passing concepts in the game and basically what you can do um basically what you can do you can put that outside receiver on a whip if you don't want to put him on the out that's fine because if you put him on a whip he'll uh kind of sit on the sideline which is one of the things i like to do for a situation like what just happened but if they're not playing flats then you see how good the running back route is the route to the running back is probably the most overpowered route in Madden 22 especially when you run this um especially when you run this with the running back like to a quad set because match coverage can't really work against this formation now and also um vertical hooks actually are not going to be super effective because you have this post and drag to pull them and this drag is one of the best reads in the game just a little streak drag combo this is something that i used to do um in madden 13 uh, when i first started getting serious about madden um, this was a concept that I found was just something that is good year in, year out. You streak a tight end and you drag the backside receiver and then you have this post. And what's what's cool about the post is let's say they run a man coverage on you and you don't feel comfortable throwing the wheel against a man-to-man -man defense, then you can just throw this post or this drag. So you go streak, no, drag, no, post is always open. The post will pretty much always be open. Um, they have to user the post. Um, you know, so that's one of the real, real great reasons as to why um, this is a very, very good concept. So again, just wheel your running back, zig the outside receiver, drag the inside receiver, and then you can leave the tight end on a corner. I'm going to show that in just a second what that might look like. But you see it gets man-to-man. -man. You see how much separation he can get over the middle, and that's just a basic receiver um, going up against one of the better corners, cover corners in the game. So why would you want to leave the tight end on the corner route? Well, you might want to leave this tight end on the corner route um, in a situation where, and I'm going to show you a way you can do this without PA slot corner in just a second. But let's let's say we want, um, let's say that, um, well, the real reason why you might want to leave that tight end corner route is for man coverage, also for just a base, like something like this here. You see how deep that corner runs? So it's still going to run off the outside third and it's still going to open up space. So if you wanted to kind of pull the zones horizontally, um, you might consider leaving that tight end on the corner route. So in this situation here, what you'll see is he's going to pull that cover two horizontally. And if they're falling asleep at the wheel and they're not playing good balanced coverage, you're going to be able to hit that corner route on the sideline. Now, another thing I wanted to do today is I wanted to show you how you can run this play um, without having 
um, a, a post route over there. So we'll do it just purely from hot routes. And it's actually, I think, one of the best money plays in the game. So we're going to wheel the running back. We're going to zig the outside receiver, drag the inside receiver, and then you can streak the tight end. And then now what you want to do, and this is a route that I think is really underrated in this year's game, um, a smart routed in route <clears throat> from the tight end. And what you'll see here is that this smart routed in route is every bit as good as the post, maybe even better, because it gets underneath the, the deep yellow zones at a rate that you're not going to see the post. Sometimes the post will get lurked um, by a deep third just because there's no vertical route on that side of the field. So this is a great route. And again, this is just one of my money plays. And like I said, I like to run this pretty much against anything. Now, you can run a variation of this to the left side of the, or to the right side of the field. And the way that we would do that is we're gonna run a drag, um, we're gonna run a drag, a flat to the triangle receiver, a drag to Devontae Adams. And then what I like to do is put the uh, inside slot receiver on a flat, put the tight end on a smart routed in, and then I'm gonna wheel the running back. So you see, this is how this looks to this side. So you still have your wheel concept and you still have that nice dig to stress the user over the middle of the field. Now, another way that you could run this, um, another way that you could run this is a little bit more of a shallow cross um, concept, but it's a little bit problematic. But anyways, what you could do uh, with this is you could put the tight end on the deep in route, you could put the running back on the wheel, and then you could drag um, that is scantling, you could we or flat Lazard or streak uh, streak Lazard. I'm sorry, and then you could zig the running back. So you see, it looks like this. This is a great little. This is kind of my version of a shallow crossing concept to this guy, um, just because it clears out everything and this clears out a lot of space uh, for him to be able to work on that side of the field. And then you can, like I said, you can also come with back with this concept right here, where you're doing it on the right. The problem is you don't really want to drag the circle receiver. Um, it's just, to me, it, it's not as effective. What I would rather do is streak the circle receiver so he clears out all the zones and then drag Devontae Adams. And what you'll see is a streak-drag combo here really clears out space and Devontae Adams can get open. But that's how you can kind of build um, a system around the running back wheel, which is the most powerful route in the game. And you can do it all from hot routes. But if you want to use a money play, you can use PA slot corner for this. And it's a great concept from trips. Um, you got that streak, and even if they play good man coverage, this post route will still consistently beat man to man. Obviously, the wheel route is, like I said, one of the best routes in the game, anyway. So, thanks for watching the video. If you want to get my full trips tied in offensive ebook, I'm going to put a link to my Patreon in the description. By joining the Patreon, you'll get access to all of the ebooks that I've got, all the updates to the ebooks that we release every single week in our membership, and also any new ebooks that we release while your membership is active. So, if you want to sign up for that, head on down to the description below and click the link that I put down there for you.